Positive news for the millions of Americans who suffer from migraines. A new injection that prevents debilitating headaches met the main goal of a mid-stage study. Alder Pharmaceuticals, which makes the drug, saw its shares soar nearly 50 percent. As Meg Terrell reports, Alder is competing with some bigger rivals to get this new class of drugs to market. It's a problem more than 30 million Americans are all too familiar with. Migraine headaches are not only painful, but can be debilitating. And current options leave a lot of room for improvement. Well, the problem with migraine has always been the drugs that we had were always pretty mediocre. A new group of drugs in development brings hope that may soon change. Called CGRP antibodies, the medicines are aimed to prevent migraines before they happen. They're still in testing, but have shown they may produce better results than current therapies. They're in development at drug giants Eli Lilly, Amgen, and Teva, as well as smaller competitor Alder Biopharmaceuticals. It was new data today from Alder that's giving support to the whole class, according to analysts. The study results drove shares of the small Washington state-based biotech company up as much as 50 percent. The drug was tested in patients with chronic migraine, defined as at least 15 days with headache per month, eight of those considered migraines. With one intravenous infusion, the medicine reduced migraine days per month by at least 75 percent for more than a third of patients on the two highest doses tested, meeting the study's goals. That compared with just more than 20 percent of patients taking placebo who reported a 75 percent reduction. The drug was tested for 12 weeks. It's now expected to go through another stage of testing before it may hit the market. Sanford C. Bernstein analyst Ronnie Gal says each of the four drugs in development is essentially neck and neck, with potential approval in 2018. He estimates there are about 11 million patients in the U.S. with chronic or episodic migraine. The question really is how many of them will end up on the drug and how much uh, will those drug costs per patient per year we are right now running a number of between five and six billion dollars for the market in total. That assumes multiple medicines make it to market and are priced around $10,000 a year per patient, Gal said. One thing that may set Alder apart, its drug can be administered just once every three months versus potentially once a month for competitors. These drugs are all given by injection, either through an IV or a self-administered shot. And so far, their safety, according to analysts, looks good. The results of the larger clinical studies are needed to confirm. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.